What's happening? This your boy Lil Pete, man. DSGB. Shout out to Dumb Out TV. Y'all know how we rocking. Yeah. What up, everybody? This your boy Gold Mouth Shorty, the original Florida Jet. You know what I mean? Today we're going to talk about a rapper that went by the name of The Truth. He was born in Daytona Beach, Florida. I believe he went to a community college or something like that in Kansas, and he said he enrolled off in the University of Florida, but there's no record to say he did that, but you know what I mean? We don't talk about him anyways, man, because they say that boy was a dating app serial scammer, man. He scammed over like 20, 25 women, and you know, he stole thousands of dollars from these women. He would fly them out to different states, you know what I mean? They say they tracked that boy down after years and years of investigation, you know what I mean? He was scamming women all the way to California, uh, Las Vegas, Arizona, Texas, and Florida, man. And it was many more that, you know, wouldn't come forth, man. But that boy, the truth, you know what I mean? He was a rapper. I first seen him in the Ozone magazine. And you know what I mean? I started paying more attention to him. And one day I looked him up on YouTube. He was rapping and freestyling and stuff like that. I remember him because he had like this muscle physique and he had a big chain. And you know, I always remember who he was but I never knew his name, but come to find out, you know, that boy was a serial uh, dating app scammer, man. He was flying women out, and then he'll say he got problems with his bank and his car went not work, and he'll have the women pay for the plane tickets and the flights, and then he wouldn't even give them their money back, and he'll have females random cars and stuff like that. But they say he was uh, charming all the women. I remember him because he was pushing a song with Briscoe. And you know, I seen the behind the scenes, but I never seen the video, you know, the actual video. You feel what I'm saying? But he was making moves out there in Daytona, Orlando, Ocala area. You know what I'm saying? And then he went out west, and you know, he started doing this thing up there. And you know, they say like 10, 15 years later, after his rap career slowed down, that boy just started scamming all these women on different apps, man. Like Moco Space, uh, MySpace, Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He was on all of them sites, man. You know, black people, uh, meet.com and stuff like that. Timber dates, man. And he got different profiles, but he got the same pictures up. And he charming the women, and then they'll give him their money, and he'll never pay them back. But that's what they say he was doing for years and years. And some females had tracked him down, and they made, like, a page strictly for him for all the people to come clean and come forth that got scammed by this man. He scammed black women for about seven, eight years, and then he started scamming all the white women that you would call cougars and stuff like that, man. And he would, like, feed them, you know what I'm saying, listen to them, tell them everything they needed to hear or whatever they wanted to know. And then when they go to sleep, he'll steal their pocketbook and he'll take pictures of all their credit cards and stuff and start using them soon as he drop the women off or they fly back to their state. And then he'll uh, unfollow them and block them so they couldn't get back with him and get in touch with him and kind of find out it'll be a false name he used, but... They found out his real name, and they had like seven, eight pictures of him, you know what I'm saying, from different girls saying 
he scouting them and stuff, man. This story went crazy. You know, it even went viral, man. But I'm just telling the truth, man. But if you ask me, I believe, you know, them girls got just what they asked for. They wanted a big dude with muscles and, you know, dress nice and wear big chains. But they knew, you know, it was a price to pay. And he was just charging. He was just a male juvenile or something like that, bachelor. You know what I'm saying? Male bachelor. And he had a bachelor pad. They say he wasn't paying his rent for like 10 months. And you know what I'm saying? He was good at scamming and working the computers and stuff. He made the people sign a contract where he didn't have to pay, but he had to just get out of there. You know what I'm saying? And go move on to scam some other rent man. Everything he did was to scam people. He was uh, making phony checks and IDs and stuff like that. And you know, he will tell people to cash a check for him and the check gonna bounce. But he will tell them to use their bank and they will hurry up and send the money back. And then he will ghost them right after he get the money. And you know what I mean? All the women will report it to the police but the police couldn't do that until he had did this to another female and she ran in the car and he took off in the car and he didn't return it for like two weeks. And the police called him in a stolen car and they hit this dude with like 70 something charges and all. And you know, he got like 20 charges uh, the next morning and then when all the cases started coming in. He had like 75, 76 cases, man, at one time. And the lawyer said he never seen nobody with a long rap sheet in his entire time than the truth. You feel what I'm saying? They said that boy had uh, got him a lawyer and sent him a fake check that bounced. So the lawyer wouldn't even work for him no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, Betty was scamming to the end. I wonder was it jewelry real or was that fake? Did he take steroids or what? But you know, he said he was playing football. He was telling women all type of stuff. And you know, he'll put up uh, inspirational uh, messages and stuff like that on his post for the women to attract them. And you know, he'll like their pages. And then he'll inbox him and he'll go from there. But he always had an excuse to like get money out of him or get them to put a, a check in their bank so he can get some money and tell them the rest of you and him about the money. You know what I'm saying? And then they uh, banks will call them and say they bank overdraft it. And they've been that older money and have to pay it back. He left a lot of women uh, stuck, you know what I'm saying, like Chuck and broke when it was time to pay the rent because he did that. Uh, made they, uh, they banks close their account because they had too many overdrafts so they couldn't pay back the loan, you know what I'm saying, that they took out thinking that the money was good, and now they owed it the bank money. So it was a lot going on, man. And, you know, they eventually busted him. You know, he was in jail. A lot of people say he didn't do no time. Go check his Instagram. He's still out. I don't even know that that boy do any time. Cause even the police said every time, you know, he got busted, he'll just pay out the debt or, you know, get a little probation or something like that. Or the police wouldn't even go after them after 30 days because they didn't have enough uh, evidence because he was so slick. He'll have them actually committing the crime. And then when he went to jail, went to court, he said the girls gave it to him as a gift. You know what I'm saying? And they got mad because he didn't give them what they wanted. So they wanted to take the money back, and you know, he was flying girls out 
with other girls' credit cards. You know, he'll get their information and he'll just fly another girl out after he steal their uh, identity and stuff. You know, this dude here was full of trickery, man. He got by, he got by a long time before he eventually got busted. But like I said, I first seen him in the Ozone magazine, and you know, I'm just going to check out people that was in the Ozone magazine back in the days who was paying for ads. I'm just seeing what happened to him, you know what I'm saying, years later. And I just ran across this story, but enough of that. Peace of mind.